then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. Edna. I'm so happy. Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the circle. All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. Mr. Zawicki. I don't care what anyone something says. I need to do. We're in love. Hey, swatta, 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 swing, swatta. Read the paper, mister. Cross me. Hey, Nat. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. What's in the next issue? Just you wait. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Is that article in the public? Protection for sale. Hand tooled pieces. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. The photographs. <laughs> he never did photograph well. <laughs> Detective secretary. I'll never find another job. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Nikki's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean... Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? 
There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. You'd really risk your family like that? I'm not saying it's without its consequences. But in my experience, it's worth it. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time, and Mom was... out of the picture. So, we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with the caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? <laughs> 